Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, in my hands is the Girls of Dimension 13, number 4, the penultimate issue of the series, written by Graham Nolan, Brett Blevins, the artist Gregory Wright, as a colorist, Carlos M. Mangual as a letter. Uh, so this has been an interesting series, there's definitely like this throwback vibe to it, uh, and, and you see it present here in this issue as well. I'm not totally in love with this series, you know, there's something I just feels a little off. Um, you know, I love the concept. I don't know if I necessarily love the execution to it. Uh, and this issue, I think, kind of maybe highlights some of the things I, I have trouble with. Um, and again, and like none of the, none of it's killer. It's just one of those of like, eh, there's other stuff I'd rather read. And I think that's the best way of describing it. It's like, it's not bad. It's just there's other stuff I'd put ahead of it. Um, so we've got uh, a couple of characters lost in these various dimensions trying to get to their friends to go and defeat Abraxas, uh, and it has them kind of dimension hopping and attempting to make their way through, um, and they, you know, are kind of just randomly bouncing through dimensions, don't really have control over their power, uh, generally just don't have a clue what they're doing, and it's emphasized a little bit in the writing, but it's, it's kind of one of those things of just, like, they're super powerful, they kind of seem to have control, but they don't really know what they're doing, and... Um, you know, we get, we get some of the more of the history about one of the characters, uh, but overall it's just one of those of like, you know, it doesn't feel like tons has happened, there's, there's kind of like the big cheese moment at the end, and the writing's a little off, like the, it's part of it, it's a kind of, you know, the, I think the, I think part of it reminds me of like, the reboots of Charlie's Angels where like there's some, those moments you kind of want to hit of like the girls kind of doing their pose and ready to fight um, and it's almost like there's a kind of a self-awareness of the cheese factor and I don't know if that's done on purpose or or not but it's an interesting comic like I like the concept of you know Doctor Strange going missing and, and four people who have abilities having to step in and go not only find him but you know, defend the defend Earth. In this case, it's you know not Doctor Strange is someone like him, but like you know not that exact thing. Um, so I you know there's a lot of interesting potential there, but like at the same time, it's I feel I feel like everything interesting about the comic is just it's too short. Like there's too little time spent, so you don't really get to know the dimensions or get to know the world or get to know the rules or you know what's up with with everything um you know it's one of those that i kind of wish it was fleshed out more um or maybe presented a little bit different so that it could be fleshed out more yeah it's it's kind of weird like that it's just there's something about it like a lot of there's a lot of cool concepts like this this dimension i think looks really neat with the designs but you know we don't learn about the weirdness of the dimension like here's another one that's called the sub dimension but it never, like, we don't learn a lot about it. It's just kind of this pass-through. Like, it's a... Uh, I think I said in one of the other issues, it feels like a series of moments as opposed to story. Um, and I, I think this issue kind of really nails that home. So, overall, like, it's not bad, but at the same time, it just doesn't quite click the way I would hope it would. So, it is what it is. The art's, I think, decent. There's definitely this retro vibe about it. And, um, yeah, it's... It, it, as I said, it is what it is. Been digging it, stick with it, but you know, if you haven't been reading the series, maybe wait for the trade. There's there's one more issue left. Um, out now in comic shops, so you can go get it. Yeah, you know, late beneath this video, put in your zip code, it'll tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that to support our site. I want to thank Aftershock for what up with the review copy, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Aftershock, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.